the times to get an email right in the middle of the introduction. <sighs> As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, hello comrades, this is General Luigi, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. So, we finally defeat Evice, so what's le have to do, right? Well, for starters, we still have Shadow Pokemon to catch. Okay. So let's take a look at the Shadow Pokemon data. Okay, that's the snag list. We still have Trudley's Makuhita to catch. Diogo's... Wait, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Right. This indicates purification. Okay, Lon's Slugma. So, Scrub, we missed his... Says we missed his cipher peon. We still missed his hip on top. Yeah, you see the whole business here. So we've still got a b right. We've also got two Pokemon belonging to unknown trainers. So to start, let's watch the news. <laughs> It's time for the news. According to the authorities, there is a criminal criminal, criminal syndicate that is seeking world domination. It is thought to be linked to the rash of reports from various regions about vicious Pokemon. We hope to bring you additional info on this story as we learn more. Okay. Would have thought they'd have updated that by now. Oops. Another email. Oh boy. Let's see what it is this time. Well then, let's head off to Pyrite Town. I will see you there. Okay. So we have to meet Sek, who should be in this building. That's that. Yes, press the button. Guess they can't leave it open all the time. Now, which one of these was sec? It's this. Yeah. Oh, hi, guys. We just got some news. There's this rogue called Kale who hangs around Pyrite's entrance. Sounds like Kale recently battled this creepy trainer. I see that this trainer used some weird Pokemon. I think you should have a talk with Kale about this. Okay. So, let's go talk with Kale. Ah, uh, good old RPG runarounds. <laughs> Talk to this character, then this character, then this character, then this character, and then maybe you'll finally get something done. <sighs> I forgot his his voice. <laughs> Yo, we meet again. Huh? About the shadow Pokemon? Oh yeah, I remember battling one, sure. I'd be willing to share what I know with you, but only if you can beat me. You ready? Uh, uh apparently no is not an acceptable answer. So... Considering that we've beaten the game, it's clear that this guy's going to have some much tougher Pokemon this time around. <laughs> oh well. We defeat Evice. This guy shouldn't be a problem. Frankly, if he turns out to be a problem, that's going to be just plain embarrassing. Excuse me. Alright. Let's start by pummeling Granbull with a Psychic. Typhlosion, use Sunny Day. That'll boost Espeon's Morning Sun, and it'll also power up your fire moves. Ooh, almost enough to take him out in one hit. Light screen. Bleed. <sighs> That's gonna make my team a lot weaker. Granbull can learn Shadow Ball. That is bad. Well, now. Let's take advantage of that sunny day. And Typhlosion, how about you finish Granbull off with a Flame Wheel? Almost fully restored Espeon's health. No more Shadow Balls from you. So, 
Who's next? Shift tree! A perfect target for flame wheel, don't you agree? Have Espeon throw out a reflect. Typhlosion, Flame Wheel. You decide to waste your turn on an X speed. Okay. Well, assuming Shiftry manages to withstand Typhlosion's Flame Wheel, it'll pay off, but otherwise, you just wasted your turn. Bye, Shiftry. All right, and finally, Machamp. Well, that's just begging for a Psychic. Unless Gardevoir's Psychic takes out Espeon, which it doesn't. Okay. Espeon, let's take out that Machamp. Typhlosion, follow up with a Flame Wheel just in case Psychic isn't enough. And if it is, well, then it'll be directed at Gardevoir. Okay, so the Flame Wheel was necessary. And now Typhlosion faints, right? Yep. So, who are we going to send out? Mr. Evis, of course. His Shadow Ball will be a nice addition. Okay. And we'll use Return. Psychic won't be of much use against Gardevoir, especially with that light screen up. And follow up with a Shadow Ball. Apparently Return isn't very useful either. Well, let's see about Shadow Ball. Perfect. Alright, now then. Kale, would you mind telling me about this Shadow Pokémon you encountered? It's been a futile struggle every time! Uh, I hope that no was just an expression of annoyance at your defeat and not a response to my request. That trainer, he used a shadow crocodile. The trainer's name was... Uh, I forgot. He did say something about the Snagum hideout, though. Well then, it appears we will be paying our ex-comrades a visit. Yes, we finally get to visit Team Snagum's hideout. Wonder how the repairs have done. But first, I'm gonna go heal my Pokémon. I'll see you in a moment. And we are back. So, it is time to visit Team Snagum's hideout. And from the looks of things, the repairs haven't really gone very well. Yep, oh, another email. I am very popular this episode. Crocodile trainer? Okay, Bluno. Alright, and there are a few tricks to this place. First of all, my memory is that, that this is where you can catch any shadow Pokémon that you failed to catch the first time around. Uh, unfortunately, my memory of how it's organized... There we go! I'm afraid I do not remember you. But... <sighs> Every time you enter this facility, a random trainer that you defeated will ambush you at some point. I think it was right where Nor showed up, but I could be mistaken about that. I'll have to look him up and see what he was like before this. Uh, we'll use Spark against Ninjask. Flame Wheel on Fortress. Right, Ninjask is extremely fast. Hmm. Maybe Rain Dance and Thunder would be a better move. Well, we'll just have to see how this goes. 
double teams become a problem, we'll just do that. Rain Dance Thunder. And that should be the end of it. But let's try and take Ninjask out the old fashioned way first. Okay! Baton Pass will recall the Pokémon, but pass any stat boosts it gained onto whichever Pokémon replaces it. So Ninjask's Speed Boost passes on to Masquerade, as does that Evasiveness Boost from Double Team. However, it also means that the, the Evasiveness Boost that Ninjask gained for itself will no longer be of any use to it, because it passed it to Masquerade. So Ninjask is forced out again anyway. Another double team, perhaps? We shall see soon enough. <clears throat> nope! Swords Dance! Too bad you won't be able to put it to any good use. I expect that Flame Wheel to take you out in an instant. these predictions. Well, when I'm right about <laughs> my attacks taking an opponent out in one turn. <laughs> Not too happy about when I'm right about an opponent taking one of my Pokemon out in one turn. <laughs> uh, lovely. Alright, let's use Rain Dance to boost the accuracy of Thunder. And let's see if Flame Wheel will work. Even with the rain weakening it, Masquerade is low enough on HP that it won't make a difference. Oh, I did not see that one coming. I did not expect Masquerade to know Hydro Pump. So that was lucky. So pretty much we're just going to be tearing through this facility, seeing if we can get the shadow Pokemon contained within. Most of the trainers here do not have shadow Pokemon, so I'm thinking I will actually skip those battles. <sighs> don't really remember my way around this place. I mean, sure, Shurik remembers, but I don't. Yep, another email? <sighs> Wouldn't it be something if it turned out to be a spam message? Okay, so new additions to... Um, wait a minute, what? I've already caught Misrebus. And Tyranitar, for that matter. No, wait, Tyranitar? Why did I say Tyranitar? <sighs> Mentioned Slugma, that's right. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's keep moving. Is there anything back here? No. Okay, how about this way? <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, treasure! Always nice to have. Let's go ahead and heal Typhlosion's Paralysis, before I forget. Okay, I do not have any Paralyze heals. Alright, so I'm going to battle this trainer off screen, and you'll see the results in the next episode. I will see you.